Uh, Austin takes on the other side from New York in NYCFC. Austin's coming off a midweek by their 10th place. Uh, no Rubio. He's suspended for this one, plus 185 if you want to back the home side. Uh, New York City FC coming off that 2-0 win over CF Montreal. Back-to-back wins now for New York City, plus 140. Uh, that's the number I'm playing. Uh, good team versus bad team. <laughs> New York City FC at plus 140 in this one. I'll be quick because Austin... They lost 2-0 at Sporting Kansas City last time out. They've one win in their last seven games. And the data for them just show just tells you the story. They're a bad team. They have a negative 0.23 expected goal differential per 90 minutes at home. That's third worst in the league. They're just not performing. Yet they have five wins from 10 games at home. But the data says they've been completely riding their luck. By the way, this team has been the first to concede in six of eight. That's a recipe for success. They've expected goal at home of 13.9, but they've scored 18. So they're they're punching above their weight right now. And when you watch this team play, there are a few teams that are boring, uh, more boring and lifeless than this Austin team. And I, I just like New York. They're, they're relatively healthy now. They finally have their talented players back into this team. They have a poor away record. Um, they have back-to-back losses away, but they won the three away matches they played before that. They only scored seven goals away from home, but their XG is well over 10. So I'm just going to back the better team in this one at a nice number. It was kind of like the rationale with um, with the Red Bull versus Philly, but this is a game that I'm settling on because I think that Austin overall is even a worse team than Philadelphia. And I think that Philadelphia have to win at some point or come away with something at some point. I just, there's not much to this Austin team for me. Take Rubio, a couple other players are out as well, yeah. so. Well, per- Pereira, I mean, that's a huge knock yes. in the midfield for them. And uh, someone asked in the chat, what's a great player who's going to help his team perform? Cascante on Austin, Texas. He's one of the you know the, the, the top defenders in Major League Soccer. So I, I like everything you said there. And it, for me, what is going to make the difference is having Alonzo Martinez mm-hmm. up top. Like, yeah. How many times do we need to run out Bacrar to find out he's not the answer? Alonzo Martinez has, what, uh, five goals to assist in the last five matches. Uh, he's absolutely turning it on. That's the ticket. That's what we want to take. Wolf, Morales, Rodriguez playing underneath as well. Like that is a really good front four. So um, I'll back New York in that match. Uh, Bob was tweeting on Saturday night, or was it in our group chat? It doesn't really matter. As Real Salt Lake is one official play right here uh, for me, New York City on the money line. Re- 